Watch you guys got another video here for you. Now we all know that Windows 10 is a bit of a concern when it comes to privacy and if you want to claim back your privacy in Windows 10 then this video is for you. So what we're going to do is take a, a look at a bunch of things you can do to protect your privacy when using Windows 10. Now there is a bunch of scripts and also um, programs which you can use to change the privacy settings which makes it a lot easier. The botnet is one of those which is new to the, to the game which you can use to make changes to your privacy settings on Windows 10. Now of course you can go around and do this all manually but it's time consuming whereas this makes it a lot easier. So we'll download this and run it on the system. Now it's always advisable to back up your data and make a system restore point. But if you do run these sort of programs, you do so at your own risk. I take no responsibility for any loss of data or damage to your PC. So you can see here, we're going to extract this onto our desktop. And of course, you can then run this program and there'll be a bunch of settings which you can put in and uh, make those changes to your operating system. Again, if you don't like doing this sort of stuff, then leave it well alone. You may see Windows protected your PC. This is because it's an unknown publisher and it's a script form uh, type of file, which uh, obviously uh, Windows is trying to protect you from, but it is safe to run. You've got a bunch of uh, settings up here, which you can run, advanced settings, uh, also restart, administrator, documentation, uh, visit the project's website, and also check for updates. As you can see here, very simple and easy to do. There's 106 items which you can select. You can select them all, or you can select one at a time, or you can do whatever you want to run. You don't have to run all of these. So depending on what you want to disable and what you want to leave on, you can put ticks in here. So if it's telemetry and stuff like that, then you can disable all the telemetry ones and leave all the rest. Cortana is on there as well. So if you do want to disable Cortana, you can do. If you don't and you want to leave Cortana running, then leave it running. Just don't tick it. So again, it's a choice thing. You can actually disable what you want on this particular type of program. It gives you a bit more control on what you want to disable and what you want to keep. So you can see here, it gives you a little pop-up message, gives you some information. You can see test script, run script, and undo script. You can just run it just for this one item. You can see one item here, run, and selected out of 106. So if you just want to do one or two items, you can do. If you want to do a bunch of them, you just put ticks in the ones that you want to do, i.e. OneDrive here, and uh, you can disable this. Also, you've got a bunch of other types of uh, ones in here, like uh, disable telemetry, disable sync, and loads of others. I'm not going to bore you by going through the whole program because it will take forever. So I've gone ahead and selected a bunch of ones that I don't want to have on the system. Once you've got the selection that you like, you can click on run. And of course, the script will start to run and it will use a bunch of commands to disable the ones that you've ticked. Makes it very, very simple and easy to do. Again, you run these sort of programs at your own risk. Do your research, understand what you're doing before you run them because it will make changes to your system, okay? Simple as that. So we'll just let this run, and I'll show you some other ways of doing this as well, which might be more uh, useful to you or interesting to you if you're wanting to do this type of thing to your system. Now, some people don't really care about the data collecting or even know about it, and they just continue to use Windows 10, and that's entirely up to them. If they wanna do that and don't wanna do any of this stuff, then that's okay with me too. So it's entirely up to you what you wanna do, uh, but if you do want to claim back your privacy and disable a lot of those features, then this is what you're going to have to do. It's just the way that Windows 10 has been designed. And unfortunately, you have to jump through a bunch of hoops to get this to uh, stop doing the types of things that you don't want it to do. In this case, uh, you know, collecting data, telemetry and all that sort of stuff. So if you're a Windows 10 user, these are the sort of things that some people have to go through to turn a lot of these features off. You can do a lot of this stuff manually, like I said, and go into group policy and do a bunch of them in there. But again, that's all time and time consuming. And of course, when Windows rolls out a big major update, all of those settings are put back to default, which I think is absolutely ludicrous. They should leave those settings in place. If you've put them there for a reason, they should be left like that when they do an update. You shouldn't have them all reset back to default. That's just my opinion. But let's take a look at a couple of other options. You've got O and O, which is shut up 10. And uh, basically this is, you've seen me use this before, very useful program. You can go into here and um, look at the sliders here. And uh, when you go up to the top, there's an actions area, which you can say apply only to recommended settings. This is their safe sort of settings, which won't hurt your PC. You can run this just on the apply 
those settings and it will make a restore point and it will then make those changes to your system. Again, you've got more of aggressive type of approach, which is like the yellow type ones and also the red ones. OK, so there's some options there which will uh, maybe make the system unstable. So be very, very careful when running this. You can see them here, recommended and somewhat recommended settings, apply all settings and then undo any changes to factory defaults. You can roll back and you can also create a restore point. So quite a nice little program and quite useful. It will try and force a restart, obviously, because it's made those changes. So you can just click on restart windows. So let's take a look at another one here. And this one's another program which you can use, very similar to the other types that we've used. So this one was called uh, Do Not Spy. This one has to be installed, whereas some of the others are portable and they don't need installation. And again, if you're messing around with this sort of stuff, then obviously back up your data and make a restore point. OK, so I will not be held responsible if you lose data or damage your installation. So you can see. We've got advertising here, apps, and a bunch of other settings inside here. You can check mark all and run the whole lot, or you can just do one at a time or do the ones you want to do. So you get a bit of a choice there. OK, so what might be good for you might not be good for someone else. So there's a bunch of settings in here which you have to be a bit careful of. As you can see, some of them are in yellow and, uh, just, and some of them are in red. So just be careful on what you're ticking here, because you might end up disabling something like uh, automatic windows updates and you don't want to do that okay so just be careful another one is WPD this is another program which is quite a nice little program that's got a very nice uh, graphic user interface you've got privacy blocker and apps and of course you've just got these little rocker slider buttons here you just turn these toggle these on and off to whatever you want uh, to be blocked and it will then deal with that you can see connected user experience and telemetry and you can just uh, enable all these again you can disable all by just including a tick into advanced settings and then running it just like i'm doing here or you can go and do one at a time and only select the type of stuff that you want to do okay because some people might want to have uh, the maps feature on and some people might want location on and things like that okay if you just run these uh, it will literally like i said uh, block a lot of these so be very careful and you might want that particular feature on Another one is scripts like this one, Reclaim Windows 10. It's a, a PowerShell script, which is a massive, massive PowerShell script. Must have took an absolute age to put this together. But you can see here, there is bunches of stuff inside here. The problem with these types of things is you have to know what you're doing when you're using them. You have to be able to read them and understand what changes it's going to make. You can see how big it is. You can download it comes as a zip file and you can unzip it and then run it i will run it and just show you but be careful when you're running these because you don't have any control over what you're actually disabling on the system so it will just basically disable everything that is inside that script and of course it may disable stuff that you wanted to keep uh, on the system uh, and keep running and that this will just disable it so be very careful so i'll open this up and uh, the easiest way probably for someone who's not used to this stuff is open this up and copy the text and then run it as an administrator it will need to be run as an administrator and it will make these changes it will disable a lot of telemetry and bunches of stuff like that but again just be very very careful when running this sort of stuff because it could be disabling stuff that you want uh, to be enabled on the system okay so you can see it here is a huge file and it does take a fair bit of time to run so i'm just going to copy all of this information here go edit and select all and then right click copy i'm going to open up powershell um, and run this as administrator you can run it from there as well but you do want to run this as an administrator once we've got this open here i'm just going to paste this in and run this and there you go off she goes and again like i said this is going to make a bunch of changes. I've speeded that process up and skipped a bit out. Now it's made a load of changes to the operating system. You can see the search has changed here. So be very careful when running scripts like that. Uh, Debloater does a lot of that stuff as well. You need to understand what it's actually doing. And of course, if you don't, then leave it alone and use one of the other programs. You can see going into the privacy settings inside uh, the settings here, 
all of this stuff has now been disabled all your inking and typing personalization all of this has been turned off and that's what you want all that stuff's been completely disabled any activity history so if you did want any of these uh, sort of settings like location and stuff like that it's all going to be disabled by that you can toggle it back on uh, but again microphone is on and just make sure you're not messing with your microphone too much because obviously if you need it for like recording and things like that then obviously you're not going to have that feature enabled if you turn it off notifications voice activation account info all of this stuff in the privacy area will be disabled and this is the most common area you can go in here manually and do a lot of this stuff if you don't want to run scripts that's what i would advise you to do if you're not quite familiar with that stuff go in here and just disable all the stuff that you want to do in the privacy area very simple and easy to do time consuming yes it is but it's a lot safer than running scripts if you don't know what they're doing so going in here as you can see all the background apps disabled uh, what I wanted here inside here left some of the stuff that I wanted to leave enabled which you would obviously do yourself but if you want to disable all of them then disable them uh, if you want to leave certain ones on you can do and again with app diagnostics and uh, automatic file download and a bunch of other settings here they're all disabled everything's disabled and there's a few other bits and pieces in there which you can mess with as well again with the services uh, they should all be disabled as well so going into the services area you should see a bunch of stuff disabled here and this will then claim back a lot of system resources and also disable a lot of services that you don't need if you don't need to mess with this sort of stuff and you're just happy using um, shut up 10 or WPD then by all means just do so you can see a big load of uh, settings have been disabled here inside here these are telemetry and a bunch of other bits and pieces that are not needed like fax and things like that on the system and that's going to be about it that is basically how you can you know protect your privacy on Windows 10 uh, using a bunch of those different methods so I hope this one's been useful to you. My name has been Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. If you need any help, then pop on our Discord. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.